Another method to solving quadratics is algebraically. So what does that mean? That means we're going to get our quadratic in the form ax squared equals k. So to start off with, we're just going to jump right into it. So let's say, for instance, that I had 5x squared equals 30. Okay, so I'm thinking about this algebraically. How am I going to get the x squared by itself? I'm going to divide by 5 because that's going to cancel. So now I'm left with x squared equals 6. Okay, so I have x squared and I want an x. So in order to get rid of the square, I have to take the square root. So x equals, well, whenever I take the square root, I know that it can be a positive or a negative number. And in our case, the square root of 6 cannot simplify. Let's say, for instance, that I have um, 7x squared minus 35 equals 0. Now, when we were factoring, our goal was to get it to equal to 0. In this case, when we're solving it algebraically, we want the ax squared by itself. So in this case, I'm going to add the 35 to both sides first. So I'm left with 7x squared equals 35. So now it's similar to the problem on the left. I'm going to divide by 7. So I'm left with x squared equals 5. I'm going to take the square root. And x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. Now, there is one more type of problem that we need to look at. Let's say we have x minus 3 squared equals 36. Now, in this case, our a is really out in front, and that's a 1. So I don't necessarily need to divide by 1 because it's going to give me the same thing. I just go ahead and jump into the square root, because that square is going to the x and the 3. So we're left with x minus 3 equals plus or minus 6. So I can have a couple different options. I'm going to split this off then, and I'm going to have x minus 3 equals negative 6, and x minus 3 equals a positive 6. So from here, I can go ahead and solve x. Both, both situations um, by adding 3. So x equals negative 3, and x equals a positive 9. Sometimes you may have to factor first and then solve. So for instance, if I were to have x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 49. So I'm going to have to factor this left side. And we talked about factoring already, so we're going to factor the AC, which in our case is 25. Factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. I'm going to regroup this. 1 and 25 don't give me the 10 but the 5 and the 5 do. So I have x squared plus 5x plus 5x plus 25 equals 49. Now I'm going to group this into smaller terms and factor based on that little grouping. So I have x times x plus 5 
Now I'm going to look at the second group. What do they have in common? They have a 5 in common. So I'm going to pull that out, and I'm left with x plus 5 equals 49. Well, looking at this, I have x plus 5 twice. So that means that it's to the square equals 49. So I'm done with my factoring, so now I can solve. Okay, the a out in front is a 1, so I can go ahead and jump to the square root. So I have x plus 5 equals plus or minus 7. Because I have that plus or minus there, I'm going to go ahead and split this into x plus 5 equals negative 7, and x plus 5 equals a positive 7. To get the x to stand alone, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of my equation. So on the left, I have x equals negative 12. On the right, I have x equals a positive 2.